Let's go, right, so two fight. truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Too. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge and the striking to carry them to victory. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. And that left hook landed on the button. Now connects with the right. And they are exchanging leather early. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbow's tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out, the jab comes right back to the face. It picks a perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Look at the turtle in that kick. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Whiffs on that offering. Pretty good right hand. Nice one, two there. Liver kick. The right hand just misses. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Big head kick lands. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Hey, hey. Over the top. This fight's going to be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high because the opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it. Straight punch lands. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Just misses with the jab. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, well, you know about his kicks. They are on point this evening. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautiful body kick. Very, very bad. I mean, look at the commitment to kick him in this fight. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body. Again, making great use of his length in this matchup. 
Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Oh, straight right. Back and forth we go. Final second to round one. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges...